Hello, I'm Jomica and welcome back to Project Ozone 3. This is episode 4, I think. Uh, we're going to start off the episode today by going over... Well, that's not going to work. Going over to one of these islands here. And we're going to pick up some of those trees, maybe kill a few slime while we're over there. And then we're also going to work on automating some stuff. Stuff. I started some stone real quick because we definitely need it for um, building these transfer nodes. We can maybe get started with it. We need some glass also. So I will get that going also and then we can head over to that island. I will just go ahead and do that real quick here. And I will join you guys back after I get to the island, and we can kind of get started with today's episode. Okay, we are almost here, and there are a ton of slime up here. If only our mob farm could spawn like this. So what I'm going to do is we'll get real close here, and then there's a whole bunch of dead stuff too. We will light this place up. I don't know if that'll stop the slime from spawning. Um, but we want to try to prevent mobs from spawning here so they can spawn in our mob farm. I have a feeling that's kind of what's going on. And it's really loud here. We'll pick up these. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm going to deal with all these guys. They should not be spawning after I initially kill all of them. But we'll go ahead and get rid of these. Hopefully they don't knock me off. That would be unfortunate. Like that. So yeah, almost there. And we'll go ahead and get this place cleaned up. Alright, we got everyone cleaned up. Um... Not sure what that was. I guess that was the spirit. There's a spirit floating around here. We have a whole bunch of cobble in our inventory, which we can get rid of just so we can hold other things. We got an ability totem for fire resistance. There is a way we can go ahead and use that with our other ability. Um, we'll have to figure out how to merge those two together. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Maybe I can, no, these, these don't go together like that. Um, let's take a look in these loot bags, see what we get here. I don't need any music discs. Found an Easter egg. Okay, I don't really think I need that. Uh, Friender Pro, we can maybe keep. What do we want to get rid of here? Well, I'll throw that off and then we'll point this direction again. We can get rid of that. Marshmallow. Yeah, I'm just going to go through all of these and see if we can keep that. Get rid of that. See what kind of stuff we want to keep here. And yeah, I'll meet you guys back after that's all done. Okay, I went back to the base to drop things off, and looks like those torches did absolutely nothing. So that's not... It's not a bad thing. Um, it'll just... Kind of sucks for our mob, mob farm. I don't know if they're spawning and affecting the drops. I have a feeling they are. So we could probably cover these up with slabs or something. Um, we'll figure it out eventually. I'm not too worried about it right now, but that is a thing. We really just came here for the trees, like the sapling. So I need to do that. And yeah, after I clear these guys out, we'll go ahead and get back to the base and officially get started on the episode. So I went through all these. 
Um, and kind of what I picked out was not too much. There were a few Ender Pearl. What were they like? Ender Nebulous Hearts or, or something like that. I think they convert into Ender Pearls. Um, so we have those. Really, what I want to get is a drop of evil so we can turn this dirt into cursed earth and increase those mob spawns that don't even seem to be spawning. Um, I'm gonna throw. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. We need to get rid of some of this. What do we got in here? A rare loot bag here. I'll just throw all this in. Uh, we also would like to build. Uh, we'll do a crate and we'll get another bonsai. Bonsai pot going. We need some wood. So just throw that in. Well, we won't throw it in. We'll just hold on to it for now. We'll put our another our other bonsai pot over here, right in the middle. That'll work. And let's not open the crate. Bonsai. Do we have brick? We don't have brick. Do we have clay? That would be nice to have. There's some clay. I don't know how many we need. We'll do half. Uh, we need glass for something. Ah, we were going to do the transfer nodes so we can start to automate also. We need to take one of those. And we need some stone. Did we use all the stone? I swear we had more. Well, we can throw that in here. There's the stone we had. These I need to figure out too. So fire resistance takes less damage from fire and regeneration. Did I have another one then? I thought I had something else for our little totem thing. Oh well, we will take this out. And did that do it? Regeneration one. Um, that doesn't really do anything. Fire resistance one takes less damage from fire. What if I did this? Well, okay, you're not on fire. Oh well, we'll just say it's working. So I'm not really sure. Well, this doesn't do anything now. We need 63 levels. Okay. We'll just leave that there. I also got a lava charm. No idea what that does. But we have it. I'm assuming it is kind of like lava resistance or something like that. But that's that's okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this. We'll change them to the flat ones, but we need a anvil. How many of these do we have? Plenty. So we'll get these. We can actually get more. Oh, that's right. I never, never made the anvil. So we'll put these here. And we have we have thirty two. That seems like a lot. Oh well, we have them. Uh, we need a hopper, and we can do this bonsai. We also need slime. Oh, there's our other. No, oh, that's the one. Somehow I put it in there. Um, let's see if one of these are better than the other. Oh, that's just regular slime. Do I need, like, slime dirt 
for this. Put that there. Yeah, I do. So use bonsai tree, slimy grass. So just some grass, which I don't know how to get grass. Let's go here, slimy grass. Well, how do we get grass? We can't craft it. Well, that is something we will have to figure out. Yeah, that's just dirt. I'm pretty sure I can't just use dirt here. This tree needs a different kind of soil. Yes. Well, I can't even take you out because you are not going to let me do that. So we'll figure that out. Uh, I'll just put this right there for now. And let's go ahead and get to automating some of this stuff. What do we want to automate? Well, we're going to need some chests. So let's go ahead and get those. I think instead of chests, yeah, we could just use regular chests. Go like this, get a whole bunch of those. Where did you go? I guess you put them on there. Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? So we would like to, I think I'll put this somewhere here. Let me, let me think about this and then we'll come back and we can go ahead and build that together. And I'm going to fill this little hole in while I'm gone too. All right, I have figured out how I want to do it. So we are going to place one chest down here. We'll place an item transfer node here and that will pull items down. So I'll hold shift and control so we basically just crouch and reverse it. This will be our fuel. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then up here, we will have our items we want to be smelted. And then we can place that right there. So what we can do is we'll place in these here, they'll go in here, and if we have some charcoal, place that in there, that'll be smelted, and then it will fall down into here. Need this in there. And the only problem with that is I cannot access. So we'll have to make one of these. Another another crate. We can do two crates. So we'll get these going. Two of those. Because I do have two furnace that I'd like to set up. Uh, we're out of planks. There we go. We have two of these. And these should be done. I am going to have to... Hopefully I can reach that. No, I don't think I can. Oops. So let's go ahead and take these out. We'll take that out just in case. There we go. And that one will face down there. There we go. And we'll try one more piece of stone. So that should double it. And that will go down below. Yes. And we do get two. Awesome. So that one works. Um, what I'm going to do is also place a bonsai tree up here and I'll do the same thing up here for one of these furnace 
just so we always have fuel. I've seen that done before and I really like that. So we'll get this second one set up as well. Uh, chest here, chest there. So we'll build another, another crate. Actually we have, do we? Yeah, I'll figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we should be all good to go. I'll get the bonsai trees up there and all that fun stuff. And I'll join you guys back in a second. So this area is set up. I got a paper tree here. Um, all the, the logs are going down here to kind of burn anything from up here. So yeah, it won't take saplings, sticks, or leaves. I put in a filter above here so it just takes logs. And apples, the apples will go to cooked apples and that will go to charcoal. Um, right here, basically what we do is we just take the charcoal from here, throw it in here, and we have this charcoal here. And then we just throw everything up top and that'll start to process it. It'll double it and be efficient. So this will last twice as long. And there we go, we got two aluminum ingots and that'll just kind of process everything here. So I don't know if we have any more. Yeah, it looks like these are all compressed down. The next thing I want to kind of automate is this thing. Um, I did want to have a blaze heat source, um, but we don't have enough. So we want to do some dust in the iron mesh. Where do we get diamonds from? Gravel. A 0.8% chance. Maybe I'll set up some automation for that. Um, let's go ahead and take a few of these. We're not going to use all of these, but uh, I'm going to do this another time. Um, we'll just, maybe we'll get lucky. I'll turn this gravel into here. Turn that sand. And we still haven't had any drops from uh, this mob farm yet. We are in the ocean biome, but yeah, we had one one mob show up, and that was when I was building it, and it was off camera. But since then, I haven't had any, so not sure what's going on with that. Um, yeah, I'll finish this up, then we can get the blaze dust or whatever it's called maybe hopefully It'd be nice to get two I don't think we got any ah, there's one not quite enough but we're almost there just throw all these in um, so let's go ahead we can do all of this without the Whatever, whatever we're looking for without the blaze heat source. So we get four of those. Um, we'll turn those to flat. We need the anvil. And we'll just do that and that. Yeah, the flat ones, you get a lot from it. And let's go ahead and put this fire out. Go ahead and pick that up. We just lost. Um, whatever lava was in there, but that's okay. And is this all lit up? It is. All right, so this one, kind of want to do it on like cobblestone again. We don't want any fire happening. So we can take this. Mm. All right, I'm just going to build it like we have the heat source that we need. So the heat source will be 
exactly right there. So if we were going to use fire, we'd drop this down one more. But we're not going to do that. Um, and then you let's get one of these chests or crates and we'll place this one right here and actually I will remove this and we want this one to push um, that's not this is not fluid. This is going to be the cobblestone. I don't know if I said that. So we'll put the cobblestone generator under here. Or under there. Almost backed right off the edge. So cobblestone generator goes into there. This one will go here. And then on top we can get something to pull out and that'll go into a storage so I think yeah that's good we can get some sort of fluid storage maybe we'll try um, pressurized fluid tank fluid tank we could probably do that one what are we missing here just iron bars yeah, that's a piece of cake. How much do you hold? Not sure. But we'll try that. And we can put this one up there. And that should be fine as long as we get some sort of heat source. And to start, we can just do a torch. Right there. Yep, that is going times one. That's filling up. That'll hold 16,000 mega buckets. That's a piece of cake. Um, so yeah, that one is automated too. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is, I don't think we really need to automate um, obsidian, but we do really wanna automate this. And that's gonna be pretty tricky. There is a quest line for it uh somewhere in here where did you go ah right here the auto sifter so we need an auto sifter water wheel and stone axles that'll get us three sound mufflers which we could put one here because that's annoying we could put one at the mob farm even though it's not working at all maybe i yeah i don't know what i want to do with that it just isn't doing anything um yeah I'm not not really sure it's 20 28 blocks I think so if we just go from like here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight so if we like stand here, we should, in theory, start to get some mobs spawning. Because we are far enough away. I mean, we could even come out here. It's like between 28 and 32 or something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers. Maybe that's something I should look up. Just so we know for sure. And yeah, I'm not sure if that's in range. Something was glowing up there. I have no idea what's glowing. Maybe it, oh, it's just stars. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just build a platform and go out that way a little bit further. But yeah, I'll figure that out. Um, so this cobblestone's fine. This is still filling up very slowly. What I'm gonna do now is I will take some of this cobblestone, we'll put this away, we can put that away. Um, tons of nether rack. I don't think we need all that nether rack. But I'll get some wands, some hammers, and I will get started on getting some dust so we can make our lava machine a little bit faster. 
So yeah, I will meet you guys back after I get some of this turned into dust and sift it out. So I got this blaze mesh up and running. I also made a quantum tank, super cheap. Um, that'll hold basically an infinite amount of lava. We'll, we'll never fill that up. Um, and then I also did some sifting. We have two diamonds. Not quite a, enough to do anything with them, but we do have them. And while I was doing that, we got a mob. Just one. Looks like it's a creeper. And we got one loot bag. So all of that for one bucket and loot bag. This is the slowest mob farm I've ever built. Um, so yeah, I was just standing here, just kinda doing my thing. And I looked up and there was a little red dot on the mini map up over in this direction. Um, so yeah, that is a thing. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We did a little bit of automating of the furnaces and the lava. And yeah, we need to figure out how to get some slime grass so I can make that slime tree bonsai pot. Um, we do have them somewhere. Yeah, right here. And yeah, we'll, we'll do that next episode. So I think that's going to do it. If you liked today's episode, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already and don't want to miss any future episodes, be sure to do that. I also have a Discord. You can check that out, and the link is in the description. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.